In this video, we're looking at income tax. And as part of our income tax, we're looking at a lot of new words here. We're looking at a standard rate of tax, a higher rate of tax, a tax credit, and a universal social charge. So this question here is including all of those. Uh, take your time with these questions. That's the best advice I can give you. There's a lot of work involved in these. So there's um, the USC is going to be the last part that I'm going to look at. So first of all here, I'm going to concern myself with Ken's earnings. Ken is earning 35,000 euro. What I'm going to do there is I'm basically going to look at that as part of a number line. So I'm just going to sketch a number line here of Ken's uh, total wages. And I'm starting at uh, zero euro. So no money earned up to Ken's total of 35,000 euros. So I'm just going to look at this here on a number line and see what it looks like. On my number line, I'm going to mark the cutoff point, the standard cutoff rate. And in this particular question, it's 28,000 euros. So I'm just going to mark that on my number line for Ken. And what that means is that on this first 28,000 euro here, Ken is going to pay the standard rate of tax of 20%. So I'm going to put a 20% here. So on that first 28,000 euro, Ken is paying it at 20% tax. On the balance of his earnings, in purple now, this amount of money, which is from 28,000 up to 35,000, which is 7,000 euro, Ken is going to pay tax on that 7,000 euro at a higher rate of 41%. So there's two tax bands here that we must uh, look at. Okay, so let's look at the first 28,000 euro. So what I'm going to do here is I'm basically going to find uh, 20 percent of 28,000 euros. So 28,000 at 20 percent. And 20 percent of 28,000 is 5,600 euros. So I'm getting that by multiplying 28,000 by 0 0.2 or dividing 28,000 by 100 multiplying by 20. So that's the lower rate or the standard rate of tax. I'm just going to color code these here. That's my yellow area on my number line. Next, I'm going to come now to the higher rate of tax. Now, the higher rate of tax, we have it highlighted there in that sort of purpley color. And that's the remaining amount of money that Ken earns. So I'm paying 7,000 euro now at 41% tax. And that 7,000 euro has come from, I'm writing over to the side here now, the 35,000 minus the 28,000. So I'm getting that balance in the middle there. And 41% of 7,000 euro is 2,870 euro. Again, divide by 100, multiply by 41. I'm going to add those two figures together now to get my tax. So far is 8,470 euro. So that's the tax payable so far. I'm now going to focus in on my tax or my USC. So I've dealt with my standard rate of tax. I've dealt with my higher rate of tax. Now I'm coming down to the USC, the universal social charge. Now the universal social charge is given in this question as three bands, 2%, 4% and 7%. So let's have a look at these three percentages individually. You have to do them separately. So Ken has to pay 2% on the first 10,036 euro that he earns. So I'm now going to go 10,000 euro and 36 cent at 2%. So again, on your calculator, that's 10,036 multiplied by 0 0.02 or divide by 100 and multiply by two. And that's coming up for me as 200 euro and 72 cent. The next section on that uh, little table is 4% on the balance between 10,000 and 16,000. Okay, so there's a little bit of subtraction there that we need to do. So I'm going to take away 16,016 euro minus the 10,036. So I'm getting that little portion in the middle and that's coming out as 5,980 euro and I'm getting that at 4% USC. And dividing by 100 and multiplying by 4 is getting me 
239 euro and 20 cent okay so that's the second band of usc so let's just mark these off so we've done our two percent we've done our four percent and my final step is to now come down and do my 7% on the remainder. So let's have a look now at a remainder um, of our USC. So in order to get the remainder, I'm gonna take Ken's total wages, which is 35,000 euro. I'm gonna subtract the 16,016 euro, because remember he's paid USC on that first 16,000 euro and 16 cent. We take them away and I'm getting 18,000. 984 euro and ken has to pay unfortunately seven percent usc on that amount of money which is coming out as 1328 euro and 88 cents okay so let's figure out now how much uh usc ken has to pay in total so i'm going to add these three figures together and that is adding up to 1000 seven hundred and sixty eight euro and eighty cent so that is the total amount of money that ken has to pay in usc okay so now let's recap where we are we have our usc found and we have our tax rates found next thing we have to do is basically find the total amount of tax that ken has to pay so i'm going to add those two rates together those two amounts of money together so i'm adding this 8,470 and this 1,768.80, which is my USC. So I'm adding both of my taxes together. So that is 8,470 plus my 1,768 euro and 80 cent. Adding them together and that is getting me 10,000. 238 euro and 80 cents so that figure represents the total gross tax so i'm just going to write that in that is ken's gross tax now gross tax is before the tax credit is taken away the next section i'm looking at here is this tax credit and a tax credit is actually good to you it's actually important it's it's a bonus for ken you take the tax credit away from your gross tax. So I'm actually receiving that 750 euro back. So like I say, that's good to Ken. So Ken is actually only going to pay in income tax, 9,488 euro and 80 cent. That is my final amount of tax, which is known as my net tax. So the net tax, is when I take away my tax credit. Now, my final step, if we come back up to the question, what does the question actually want us to find? It wants us to find, calculate Ken's take home pay. So how much has Ken actually got to spend on his own uh, lifestyle? So I'm taking Ken's 35,000 euro, and you know that as gross income. That's what that figure is referred to. I'm going to subtract Ken's total tax of four eight or sorry nine thousand four hundred and eighty eight euro and eighty cent and when I take them away that means that Ken gets to keep twenty five thousand five hundred and eleven euro and twenty cent for his good self and that's what's known as his net income so net income is the income after tax basically what he receives into his pocket okay so that is income tax uh, remember to take your time with it. You have a lot of percentages to find. It helps to draw that sort of number line from zero to 35,000 at the start and break it up into your different uh, standard and higher rates of tax. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.